I wasn't thinking it would be something as big as it was or had as much impact as it was. Um, and so it's been amazing, it's been super overwhelming, um, immensely humbling. Uh, the fact that you guys are wearing my name on your shirt or even care about who I am, somebody from the other side, I'm from Eaglewood, California, the hood. <laughs> um, and so the fact that I'm here on the other side of the world being able to do something that I love and share a part of myself is, I can't even put this word. Um, I, I told, I, I got a chance to work with some of you guys throughout the week. my career, to the chance to live in different, I live in 15 different countries. Um, and all of that has come through basketball, just as this opportunity. So as much as you guys feel as though I'm giving y'all something, you guys need to do the same amount back. Um, I really can't put into words what this feels like. Every time I come back to Africa and I touch this land, it feels powerful. And I'm sure you guys don't understand that just because like, you've had the ability to grow up in this environment. In the United States, I don't see people that look like me every day. I'm never in an environment where I'm around with people black. It's amazing. It's beautiful. Um, and you know, like we, we often hear, I, I'm from America, so obviously my upbringing is a lot different. So we often hear, you know, like the man, the man is the head of the household, but in reality, women are the backbone of society. Everything starts from a woman, everything flows from a woman. And we want to see our, we want to see our nation move, we want to see our household move. All of that starts by a woman being strong, not living. So everything I do is to build that, right? And that starts with you guys understanding how important you are, the power you have, and how important it is that you understand that, right? If you are important, you are loved, if you do not feel that or hear that every day, somebody on the other side of the world is I promise you I love you, I promise you I hope you do everything, you deserve everything. Oftentimes we don't hear that enough. I'm important, I'm loved, and I deserve everything that I want. I promise you, when I said I wanted to start going back to Africa, everybody I know looked at me like I was crazy. <laughs> everybody I know, like right now, most of my classmates, I'm on break from school, I'm in law school, so most of my classmates are like on the beach somewhere chilling, and I'm hiking in the mountains. <laughs> 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 but this is the stuff I enjoy, and I think these are one of the lifetime opportunities. So I promise you, like, just know when things get tough, somebody will. Anybody would care what I had to say or want to listen to me speak, I, I would laugh in your face. I would believe you. So everything I do now is trying to create a world and create a safe space and create a place where 13, 12 year old Imani would have been protected and she would have understood how loved and important she was. So when I do this work, when I say I love you, when I say that you're important, and I say you better, I, I like to say that. It's fun. I genuinely believe this thing from my heart. And I'm teared up talking to y'all right now because this is serious. This is so serious. So when I, when I try to teach you guys about basketball, it's not about the game. It's not about putting, putting the ball on the hook. It's so much bigger than that. Like I said, everybody I need to force, I let them this game. When I didn't feel safe in my own environment, when I didn't feel protected in my own environment, basketball saved me. Basketball was where I felt, where I felt covered, where I felt loved, where I felt valued. And I got all of that to the game. And on the practical side, like you guys aren't all going to be professional players. Everybody's going to be a professional player. That's completely fine, but sports are a vehicle, right? It's gonna teach you how to listen to others. It's gonna teach you how to communicate with people. It's gonna teach you how to use your voice. It's gonna teach you how to ask for something you need. It's going to teach you how to work hard and then see the fruits of your labor. All those things are intangible that you're gonna need when you become an engineer, a doctor, a mother, whatever the case may be, you're gonna need all of these skills and you don't really understand what you're learning in the game of basketball until you get out of it. Right? For me, I've been in this vehicle that's basketball since I was 15 years old, so I'm 10, 12 years now, and I'm still in this truck. Everything, everything I do right now is because of basketball. People care what I have to say because of basketball. So I, I implore you guys, and it doesn't have to be basketball, it can be football, whatever. Sports are sports are something that, that is very necessary. Like Phoebe said, if the statistic I think of women that are in positions of power, that are CEOs, that are in government positions. I think it's like 85% of them play sports with them. The things you're learning in this environment are intangible. Everybody that brought you here, all these adults around you, they are showing you how much they care about you. 
how much they believe in you and your future and the ability you have to change the world, right? I'm on the other side of the road right now doing something I think is important. And while this is super dramatic, it's very dramatic. I'm a dramatic person. But, you know, like you think when we say change the world, we often think like we have to literally change the world. And I've been in environments and I've been in places where I'm like, this is too big. This is a problem I will never be able to solve. And oftentimes it makes you feel very small. But the idea of changing the world, it starts in your household. It starts by changing your friends. It starts by changing your parents. It starts by making a difference where you come from, right? Oftentimes when we come from these environments and these underserved communities, continuing to hear you're not good enough. There's nothing for you out here. We don't care. And maybe that's true. But in reality, if we believe it, then it doesn't matter. So for me, I'm a little girl from people in California. Nobody in my family has been out My brother has been <laughs> But you know, like nobody in my family has had these opportunities I've had because of the last food. And nobody believed I was worthy of these things. If I don't believe everything everybody told me about me, I wouldn't be here. I promise you that. I wasn't supposed to graduate high school, I wasn't supposed yeah. to graduate college, I wasn't supposed to make it past 18. And here I am. <laughs> So today we are here for Impact Week with Imani McGee Stafford, who is a WNBA player and is giving back to girls in Ghana, and it is something that we need, and we're so happy that you're here today. I want to know what made you decide to come to Ghana and get involved in this. I missed the year of return, that week. But uh, I've really just been trying to go back to Africa and touch my roots. I don't know what country I'm from, and obviously the year of return put Ghana on the map, and I was very aware of that. And when I said I want to come back to Africa, everybody told me to go to Ghana. So they said this should be the first country I visit. So I finally got a chance to get here. Um, I made it a practice of when I travel, making sure I have time to come back. And it just so happened I connected with Isaac. Impact you. And they made all of this possible. And so far, how has it been? You've been here for a few days. I'm a week now. Oh, it's been amazing. Like I, I can't explain these, these opportunities. I've literally gone all the way to Hoho, all the way down. Like I, I've taken a ride on the Volta River. Like I, I've done all the things you're supposed to do, um, and all the things I had written on my list when I was going to travel alone. So it's been an amazing experience, and I can't really put it to words. Now, being at the position you're in, you play in the WNBA, you're a high-profile athlete. You don't have to spend your time giving back to anybody. What is your purpose when you do something like this? Because some people, because there are a lot of people who are in your position, they don't do anything like that, but you're doing so much fun. Um, I would love to make it sound like I'm just an amazing human, but in reality, I think mean, uh, this is my purpose. My purpose is I use basketball and get bad. So my purpose is my yes, it is to make sure you know, that young girls know that they're in love with the Exactly. That's something I didn't have growing up, so in everything I do, my job is to create safe spaces. So, as much as it feels like I'm doing so much, it's being so amazing. I get so much from this. What's been your favorite experience so far since you've been in Ghana? Man, um, I got to go to Asimov Falls. That was like my first bar ball I got into. Um, I went to the Seti B factory and like watched them make beef and do all that. Like I've done literally all the tourist things, so like I can't even I can't even describe which one I like the best. So, like, every day is an adventure. So, 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 um, how many more camps can you do here? This is the kickoff. Yes. yes. I think we have two more. We've already done. Uh, we've also already done two. This is like the big thing. And what is the purpose of Shishan? It's, it's, it's about making sure that women know that they're important, about uplifting women through sport. Uh, their main purpose is to make a difference, to make a statement, to make a living. So make a difference is about giving back to your environment and making sure you're going back and building up your community. Make a statement is about confidence, understanding that your voice matters and you matter. And then make a living is about teaching vocational skills so they have these skills and these things can transfer in once they become adults and get into the workforce. We hope that we see well, you every year come back to do these, these casting these girls. Thanks for coming. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. I just really like